Hey guys, Olivia here with another episode of Distractify Live, your daily dose of useful distraction. We're back for round two, and it's because it's the ab and bicep segment with Mark from Timber Creek Lodge. Thanks for having me. Yay! Okay, so I we had a show this morning, and I said, come back at 3 p.m., 3.15 p.m., whatever, for abs and biceps. Cool. And, and for all things about Timber Creek Lodge. So that's on Bravo. It's the newest show on Bravo. Um, tonight's episode... There are some Texans, which is cool because I'm from Texas. Mm -hmm. Texans aren't getting the best rap, though, on this episode. Yeah, it's not to stereotype them all, but we definitely had a tough go with this group of Texans. For they, sure. they were, but they're like the, the rich people who can stay at the lodge. So they're like a different... Yeah, I mean, our lodge doesn't necessarily have to be only for rich people. Oh. It's for adventure-seeking... Thrill-seeking people. people. That doesn't have to be extreme. It can just be an adventure. The difference is, is that... What they wanted to do didn't really qualify as an adventure. And then there's more to it. Got it. Okay. So if you haven't watched Timber Creek Lodge, what is it? Pitch it to everyone. Okay. So Timber Creek Lodge is a show about nine of us to start, eight of us at this point in the season. And we run an adventure lodge up in Whistler, BC, Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, it doesn't look like it's winter when we shot the show. We had a tough snow year last year, but the season <laughs> is looking pretty good. You can borrow some from New York, I think. We're, we're having a good season right now, so yeah, it's good. 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 Um, but yeah, so every couple days we have new guests come in. We cater to them full service, so all the food, all the adventures, all the gear if they need it, and cool. they come, we take care of everything, and then they leave. So it's like below deck, but in the snow. Exactly. Kind exactly, of, yeah. Right? Except our, I would say that our adventures are a little bit more, we can do more, right? They're limited right. to islands and boats. We're You're limited, not limited to anything in the snow. So I have, I have a serious question before I get to like show stuff. Where did it go? Oh, so when skiing, should I rec do you recommend the pizza or the S technique? The S technique? Yeah, like to slow down where you kind of Oh, I see go. what you're saying. What is more efficient? For me to slow down. Uh, usually a boyfriend. They just <laughs> kind of catch you. Well, I don't. I don't have one of those. Okay. So you had your chance, though. I I've I've tried. Just yeah. I have to pay them to date me. So for now, like I do the pizza, but at some point my ankles start to hurt a little. <laughs> okay, so, so you need a better ski instructor. That too. So season Dad, two, sorry. you should come hang out with us. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's. Honestly, it's it's a, it's an evolution of both. You'll use the pizza, and then you'll use that going into your S turns where you actually flick your heels a little bit, pushing snow. I see the heels. people going like, mm, 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 exactly. Mm. So that's, that's your that's evolution like, of an S. To that's more like a Z foamation, and it's very impressive. Yeah, it's technical, which is what's so great about skiing. Is it's not every anybody can do it, but to make it look really good, it takes a little bit more time. Can you do like a black diamond? Uh, a little bit. Oh. Okay, a next deep question about adventuring. Is there anything you wouldn't do as far as, like, adventure in? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, no. Actually, that's not true. I'm shit scared of the ocean. So I would, be hor I would be horrible on below deck. I could tan like nobody's business because oh. I need one. Mm. But, no, I, I don't like the you idea of the ocean. You don't like the ocean. I'm not out. a big fan of the ocean either. It's like, there's, there's, like, there's no a, control. a lot of things floating around my feet that I can't see. Like, there could be, like, a big, like, even a dory. Like, if dory was by my feet, <laughs> I wouldn't like that either. Honestly, it's just the fact that it's so big and out of my control. When I'm in the mountains, I, I feel like I'm in control. I know where to go, what to do. But out there, I'm never going to drown in the mountains. Unless there, there's if there's no avalanche. boats, I'm a goner. I've heard there could be avalanches sometimes. Yeah, but you don't, you choose the place to go. You don't that, go there. Very true. So. Okay, so now back to the show. Sorry, I had to no, ask very, good, like very deep questions about life. So, okay, so is filming like summer camp where everyone's hanging out together and like, I know not everyone's best friends because then there wouldn't be a show, but is it like summer camp, but in the winter? Like the winter summer camp? Yeah, I would say so. So, I mean... Oh, we live together like it's summer camp in a dorm. Okay. We can't get away from each other. Jamie is kind of like our camp counselor who runs all of us, and we're supposed to kind of abide by his rules, which okay. I struggled with for good half I was going to say, can you ever follow the rules? Um, <laughs> I get better at it. You get better. It, it takes Evolution time. Evolution is, is very important. I blame it on being an only child. Mm, that's, yeah. That so makes, it's, you know, rules don't really exist when you're an only child. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning. 
learning to, to learn the rules. Yeah, exactly. That's a gorgeous exactly. thing. Sorry, if you guys have any questions, um, pop them in here. Michael over here will read them. If you just want to say, oh my God, Mark, you're really hot. <laughs> Show me your abs. Then that's good too. Whatever you want. Okay. But it has so, to be done in a question. Form. And it has to be in a question. Like, please, can I see your abs? Wink. I'm a really bad winker. That was really bad. Okay, so who has the best job and who has the job that you would never want to do in the house? Uh, easy. I have the best job. I mean, my job is to take clients out skiing and climbing and biking. And mm -hmm. uh, as the show evolves, there'll be more adventures that are kind of more Discovery Channel-esque looking. Uh, the worst job is by far the chef. I mean, our lodge wasn't equipped to the way that we wanted to be with a professional kitchen hidden away. So Nikita yeah. was always cooking in front of everyone. And that kind of sucks when a professional chef is usually hidden away, does their thing, presents the People food. People are watching, yeah. coming in. So it was a tougher situation, but it's no different than Ben being on a boat. Like, it's, you're limited when you're in these situations. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, I'd say that her job kind of sucked. Who, like, clean? Who cleans? Is there a cleaning? Yeah, so we had Louise, who was head of housekeeping, and Jenna, who was her housekeeping assistant. And mm. both great, but not, not horrible you tasks. You would do that job? I did that job half the time. You did that job. I was being a gentleman. Did I was helping Jenna. You the rules while doing that job. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. What is your job title? So I'm senior VIP mountain host. Senior VIP mountain host. Yeah. Um, which we kind of evolved to being like senior VIP adventure host because essentially we weren't always on the mountain. Mm. Um, we did lots of things that weren't necessarily on the mountain because of conditions. And okay. so we had to adapt the programming based on that. This is, this is very interesting to me. So, so okay. Can anyone go to the lodge, like, when you're not filming? Can is, is it open to people? So, it's a seasonal business. So, unfortunately, we're not open during the summers right now. We're looking at, it, obviously, growing that program, but we're definitely kind of like a January to April kind of business. January to April business. So, go now? Yeah, go now. Go yeah. now. Go now. Yeah. <laughs> How, okay, so where is it? Did you say where? It's in Whistler, British Columbia, Canada. Oh, so guys. it's on the West Coast. If you don't know where it is, we had the 2010 Olympics. It was kind of a good time. Oh, Terrorist attack mind blowing. Yeah, wow, was great. that was great. Yay. Okay, so, um, so everyone should do the pizza or the S technique because it's very, very important. There is nothing adventure related that Mark would not do. So if you want to go and you want to jump, What's like the weirdest, or not weirdest, but like most outrageous request for an adventure that you've ever gotten? Uh, I can't really give it away yet. Because it has Because it occurred. happens tonight. Oh. But um, before tonight, I mean, we've had requests like you come up to Whistler and it's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. You've got all types of things from golf to, okay. like I said, heli skiing. You can go base jumping, skydiving. And you get people that are like, I just want to come up and... Uh, walk around the town and you're like you're so limited because right. you can walk around any town it's like we can make that a little bit more exciting so then are you in charge of someone literally just wants to walk around the town like, yeah and you're like you got to go to this restaurant and go get coffee here yep. and like take a picture here yeah that would be my it, the cool thing too. is is occasionally you'll see a bear so at least it sounds a little bit more adventurous Ooh, I but... wouldn't like that I, I would run them oh no they're so sweet um uh, for all the they're not sweet they want to eat me um <laughs> For all our women in here, Michael saying, "Can I see him without a shirt on?" Oh, they're saying it's getting hot in here. Mm -hmm. It's like there's a new person uh, going to tune into the show. Going Ooh, forward. Oh, oh, okay. Hello. There we go. So it's on tonight, right? At t at eight. eight, eight. I don't know why I saw ten there. You eight. guys, Bravo. <laughs> eight. Seven. Eight. Eight. Cent. PM eight. Seven. Central. Tonight. In New York, uh, where, yeah, okay, yeah. tonight, Timber Creek Lodge, it's a big episode for you, from what I can tell, it looks like you get in a fight with someone. Yeah, it's a tough one for me. There's a lot of emotional aspects to tonight's episode mm -hmm. that go to experiences I've had, actually, in New York, okay. um, that I would say have helped shape me who I am as a person, okay. and that would explain probably a little bit more as to my character, like on my Twitter day, I said, I'm like, I kind of agree with Shrek, we're like onions. I did see that. Lots of layers. He's an onion. He's an has onion. many layers. That's been mentioned on The Bachelor a couple times, too. Speaking of The Bachelor. And this is a like Bachelor game. Like, every time somebody says the word journey, yes. you take a shot. It's, there's a journey, um, our journey to find. Uh, there mm. are so many games. We could probably think of a Timber Creek Lodge game, maybe? Well, I'm, well there is one. It's whenever Jenna speaks in third person. Oh, really? Yeah, which happens a lot. You'd be shit-faced for the whole Really? Thing. Yeah. Wait, 
Why would anyone do that? Generally speaking, in third person. You should give it a go. Do an entire episode once. It's quite. Um. So Olivia is about to ask you another question. <laughs> Isn't that? Mark's excited. That, Mark is excited. I'm. Mark is so very Olivia is about to ask another question right now. Um. So for people that can't get to Timber Creek Lodge, do you have any recommendations in the U.S. for like your favorite winter resort? Areas? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So it's actually just south of Whistler, but I love Mount Baker. And the reason I like Mount Baker, it's in Washington, um, is that it's kind of like this old school ski hill. Like you get on the chairlift on the back of the ski thing, it says, please don't sue us. <laughs> Which I don't know how well that's going to stay up, stand please up in don't. court, but it's please like super don't. cute. Um, there's no safety bars on the half of the chairs. Edgy. But it's, like it's it. the cutest little thing. You can't really stay in a town, you stay in a little town called Glacier, and everything's like A frames with hot tubs. So it's, it's, it's a great place to escape. It's a little bit more on the extreme side because it is okay. so old school. Yep. So people, it's go beautiful. to Washington. I will say the scariest part of skiing for me is not the actual skiing part. It's getting on and off the lift. Like there was one time my dad's skis got caught with mine yep. and we all started falling and they had to turn off the whole lift. Because we were stuck. So I was skiing on Saturday, and I yeah. happened to my best friend, who's 30. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter so if you're a kid. You can be a fully grown. disastrous situation no. that I've and, But way more embarrassing for a 30-year-old male. It's like, but that as I'm a big girl, I'm still pizza right? So I'm like, <laughs> this is why my skis are everywhere, because I'm like, pizza. You're committed. Even though I'm only going two miles an hour. But anyway, that's embarrassing. Okay, so would you ever be The Bachelor? Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yes, I would. I would, <laughs> yeah, <duh. laughs> I would be the bachelor. You would be the bachelor. I think I'd be okay, a good bachelor. Okay, ABC, listen up. <laughs> Mark the bachelor. What other show would you do? Uh, I'd love to spend a day with Bear Girls. I could see that. Yeah, I said I that to somebody the other day, and they're like, "Who's that?" I was like, oh, come on. What's that one show where they're like climbing and doing? You know that show, America's. Oh, American Ninja Warrior. Ninja Warrior. A girlfriend of mine is on that show. Okay, so, you um, could do that. I could try. She's pretty. <laughs> Pretty intense. Like really? I admire her physical abilities and strength, and she's like number two client. I remember in the States, that one so. girl. There was a girl who Little did blonde it. One. Yes. Was yeah. that your friend? No. Oh. My friend did okay. second. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. Thanks. Okay. Also, are you on Watch What Happens Live? When? Ever? Now? Tonight? Tonight. Oh, you're bartending. I've been wanting to do that forever. If you can name drop me, please do. Just it. come with me tonight. I mean, I would. I would love to. I've been asking. I've been with Saucy for us. Okay, Sheena and Stassi. Are, I, I have an earpiece. I'm hearing all of this. With my earpiece. <laughs> Sheena and Stassi are the guests tonight um, on Watch What Happens Live in the new clubhouse. And then Mark is bartending. Will you have your shirt off? <laughs> I, we'll see. The one, time, <laughs> the one time I went to Watch What Happens Live, the, the bartenders were two shirtless guys holding puppies. Yeah, I, I did some research because I didn't really know everything about that, that strategic role that right. I'm playing tonight. And <laughs> I noticed that there's not a lot of clothing in a lot of there's episodes. not much clothing on so, Andy's we'll, show. We'll see what happens. So yeah. tonight, like double, triple dose of Mark. That's that's super cool. Okay, last question: Has any of the your fellow Bravo people or reality people given you any like sound advice as you venture into reality stardom? Yeah, actually, I will say that's like the best question I've been asked in all of these PR things. So that's awesome. The best advice I was given, and it actually applies to kind of life too, okay. which is, um, it's multifaceted, but you can't have any regrets. And that's the biggest thing when you're doing a reality show is you can't sit there being like, oh, like, I wish I didn't do that. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, even if it's filmed or not, you're going to do it. Right. Um, two is, uh, don't worry what people say about you, because essentially your life's still going to go on. And after the show, typically most people will forget about you anyways. Oh, yeah. Uh, and yes. then, <laughs> to a degree, Sorry. of course. Bye, guys. <laughs> Um, and three is like, um, enjoy this, enjoy the opportunity because there's a thousand million other people that will want to do your same and job. And have applied as to these jobs yeah. and have wanted to do this. So like the nice thing about my job is like, you needed a certain skill set to get mm -hmm. that job, which is great. So obviously less people applying, but there's right. a lot of people that could do my job as well that sure. would love to do it. So I'm, I'm just kind of more grateful for the opportunity than anything. You get to do what you love and get some, some followers on Instagram from it. It's so great. <laughs> exactly. It's so great. Okay, so tonight at 8, 8 p.m. on Bravo, Timber Creek Lodge, and then Mark over here is on Watch What Happens Live, shirtless, maybe, as a bartender afterwards. You're gonna, you're gonna, this is your night. This like, is my, you're about to just skyrocket into fandom stardom. <laughs> It's going to be great. Okay, so last thing. Um, 
If you're watching this video, which, which you are, if you're watching, um, go to the above portion and click on Mark's name in blue, and then go like that page, because that's great. That's cool. And where can people follow you on the social medias? Uh, Instagram, so it's Mark P. Milburn, and Twitter, which is Mark P. Milburn. So I'm going to keep it simple. You're lucky to have everything the same. I, like, when it started, I got lucky. Yeah, this girl. I would love to have Mark Milburn. I mean, you couldn't. That was gone. Yeah, the guy has my website. You wouldn't sell it to me. You should buy. No. Oh, you tried? Reality uh, TV. Wait, here, here was, here was <laughs> my... Who gave you that sound reality TV advice? Um, unfortunately, he's no longer with us, but it was our executive producer, Bruce. That's really, that's really on, great advice. On the 25th. Yeah, he's a really great guy. So I'm, I'm very grateful for, uh, for his advice. Bruce. We love you. Okay, so watch tonight. Timber Creek Lodge is going to get weird in here. And remember, the pizza and the S are valid ways to slow down while skiing. Have a great Monday.